This is going to be a pretty quick tutorial, and it's regarding wireless in Slitza. Um, now, I'm work working on a virtual box on my desktop. I don't actually have wireless on this uh, machine, but I want to go through the process because a lot of people, not a lot of people, a few people that I know who have tried Slitza uh, have told me, oh, it didn't, didn't work with my wireless. And uh, I think part of that might be a little confusion on how to get to the wireless because it confused me the first time I used it. But uh, both my EPC and my laptop, uh, the wireless worked out of the box. Um, and basically, you have your network manager down here by the clock. You can double click that. And it says connections and it says name. And you click on that, you can see you have your, your Ethernet cable and your loop back. The, there is no wireless. And it's not because I don't have wireless on this machine, it's because your wireless card doesn't show up in there by default. What you have to do before you do anything else, click on this and then click configure. Type in your root password, which by default is root, and click OK. And that will open up this. And if I had a wireless card, the wireless interface would show up here so you know that your wireless card is working. And if you see that, then you can click on Wireless Manager. And it will scan for wireless uh, interfaces, uh, networks around you. And once again, I don't have a wireless uh, card on this machine, but if I did, all available wireless networks will show up right here. It will tell you uh, whether uh, they're encrypted or not. And at that point, you just double click on it. And if it requires a password uh, or passphrase for encryption, it will give you a dialog box. You can type in your passphrase. Or it will just connect if there's no encryption. And that is how you get on wireless in Slitza. Now, I do understand that not every wireless card will work out of the box. But there is a simple way to install many wireless drivers, um, and you'll need an internet connection. Uh, and I'm going to click down here on my terminal. So you need to physically plug in to get the drivers. But if we start typing get, G-E-T, and then we hit uh, tab twice to autocomplete, it gives you a list of a uh, few scripts that are in here for um, basically getting and installing some common things. And a lot of them, as you can see, is Wi-Fi firmware, some drivers for your Wi-Fi cards. So if for some reason it's not working default, check online, see if any of these will work for your wireless device. Um, so <clears throat> at that point, you would just type in whichever one it is. So let's say uh, it's my, I had a wireless card that worked with uh, B43 dash firmware. I just hit that, I hit enter. Oh, you have to be root so su for that and then hit type in your password your root password and once again i'll just type in get dash b and i'll hit tab once tab again to auto complete and this is a script that you can see will auto connect download and get your drivers for that particular wireless card and there was a list of them there once again i have not had to do this myself because i have pretty much always had luck with wireless drivers in Linux. I know a lot of people have wireless issues, but there it's loading the module after downloading it. And uh, it put a dummy wireless there because, uh, or a dummy, I'm assuming that's what it just set up. But anyway, as I was saying, first check your package manager, go to configure, type in your root password and see if your wireless card shows up in the interfaces. If it does, click Wireless Manager, and then just double click on the network you want to connect to. It's pretty self-explanatory from there. I just know that it was confusing for me at first going into my network manager and not seeing the wireless card thinking, ah, oh, crap, my wireless isn't working. Um, but like I said, for me, it's worked out of the box on, on all my laptops. Uh, but if not, try one of those scripts. And uh, that is the it for this tutorial. I wish I had a wireless card so I could show you a little bit more, but I think that majority of people, that, that will at least get them on the right track if they were not on the right track already. Anyway, visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.